Each year, Team Sonia from EDS in Montreal build and prepare an autonomous underwater vehicle for rubber sub competition hosted at the Transdeck facility in San Diego. This engineering school focuses on preparing its graduates for the industry by using hands-on project and action-focused learning. Established in 1999, Team Sonia is celebrating its 15th birthday. We are currently composed of 25 students from different backgrounds and concentrations such as mechanic, mechatronic, computer science, industrial and electrical engineering. We work hard to complete and upgrade this complex platform while carrying a full three semester school schedule. In order to accomplish its task autonomously, Sonia uses a combination of artificial intelligence and finite state machine system. The development is supported by our in-house mission edition suit and supervised by our mission manager. Team Sonia uses its own open source vision platform called Seagull Vision. It handles hardware camera management, streaming across different protocols, live filter adjustment, and also offers a dynamic filter chain edition environment. Supporting the development efforts and facilitating the interaction with the vehicle is the telemetry and replay systems, also developed in-house. They offer a broad range of interactive widgets and tools to monitor and control the AUV during tests. This year, we welded new PCBs for all the submarines. In addition, we have a new pneumatic PCB fitting its new case. The electrical platform of the vehicle is divided into three sections. The front section contains the droppers, the bottom camera, the CAN server, the main computer running our navigation software, and our vision server. The central section receives all the external signals and it contains the DVL, the INS, and the depth meter. The rear section has all the custom electronics of the vehicle, such as the navigation board controlling all the devices and receiving the sensor's data, the power management unit, and the hydrophones board. This year, the main objective for the mechanical and, uh, team was to reduce the overall weight of the submarine. So, the new frame was designed and fabricated to maximize performance and the access to the electrical component. The same concept was applied to the hydrophone park by using 3D printing. For the pneumatic system, we designed a, the pneumatic case by applying the concept of a manifold. So the result is simpler and lightweight. This is also applied to the new rubber system.